the uh, Zeppelin and uh, ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have an adult conversation on a adult subject and I managed to get the 40 year old decals to work and that was taking a lot of about two coats of liquid decal film if you have old old decals this is the best stuff to brush on straight out of the bottle uh, dip it in and just brush over the decal let it sit over it you know for a day go back over it, do it again and uh, most of the time it worked. Now there's a, I don't know, I'm gonna say a little iffy there. It depends on the age. If it's like really old, I mean really brittle, yeah, it can't do it. But there's a certain uh, uh, well, little lever there that you can uh, actually uh, make it. So I did get the uh, decal on that right there. All right, uh, works out beautiful. They lay down good even for old decals. Plus I like to use. Uh, the Vallejo, I call it decal system. It's three uh, gloss, decal softer, and decal fix. So, I got that on. Now, I have to cover the swatch to go. So, what we're going to do is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, let me go over here. We are going to do a little cheating. We're going to take Mr. Circle template and we're going to make a circle sticker. And we're going to do a white sticker. We're going to find the diameter and uh, put that on. And uh, the sticker will be over it. And uh, it won't damage the decal because after I get the decal on and seal it, we'll put the sticker on and it's uh, hid and go. Uh, you know, most time when I do a swatch, I'm do an X. And I'll put the uh, white circle on there to cover it so you won't see it. And it'll be hid from the general public. And then if you ever want to take it home and I'm going to display it at home and you pop it off and you'll be good to go. But that is where I am on the uh, Zeppelin. Uh, I started to, and I got I to gotta finish getting it. Uh, the windows, uh, got them, I basically put a wash on there. I would, it's If you had the mass maybe to paint the windows, you might be able to do it. But this scale and everything, I just put a wash in there, darken them up, and then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to dry brush the uh, uh window frames and on that just to give it a little more depth uh propeller is kind of a dark gray and uh basically a little bit of a black wash on there and that's pretty much it now after i get decals on i'll probably go back in with the airbrush and i'll airbrush just a little bit of shading just here and there just to uh give it the you know my style but that is where i am on the zeppelin and Type 94. I'm getting close to getting done on it. And, uh, there's just a few little things that I got to do. Like, uh, if you see the white right there on the corners, I got to touch up a few little things where I missed it with the paint. Uh, nothing, nothing real big. Uh, if you see the grass, uh, pretty much been going around putting it just random. I think it looks realistic to me. Uh, one thing on the groundwork I need to do is actually two things. One, I need to lighten up and put some more washes on just to bring out the the dirt. And then uh, I call it clumps of grass is what I want to do. I want to put like, uh, you know how you're supposed to drill a hole and uh, get your little uh, bunch of grass and tie a little knot on it glue it on. I want to do something similar. Uh, I just got to remember where I put it. I, I used to have a real big diorama box and I kind of cleaned out because I really wasn't into it a lot. And... Uh, uh, now I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, that's another topic. And I put the uh, nameplate on. And uh, what I'm going to do on the base here is I'm going to airbrush uh, a little more streaks and uh, do some uh, like chipping on there just to bring it out. But I think the uh, uh, base base with the plaque looks uh, pretty darn slick. I think the figure turned out pretty darn good. So since I'm doing decals on the Zeppelin, I got to do decals on him. And uh, I learned a long time ago, if I can find it here again. Uh, oh no, where is it? It's gone. No. Uh, I used to put the, uh, uh, whatever decal sheet you need, I'll always put it on a uh, stand. I know what I did. I, uh, oh, where is it? There it is. I almost lost, that's why I won't lose it. So. Uh, decals. He basically got three different uh, ranks on his uh, shoulder, and I don't know which is one's what. So I'm just going to pick the one with the most uh, stars on it and uh, put on him, and which goes on his collar. And I've already uh, put a 
a uh, gloss coat on so he's ready to put decals so hopefully I get that on today just been busy 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 and I gotta thank Elliot Brown from Fedortron.com because he sent some he sent some photo etch for when we start working on the uh, 747 there so uh, we got some rescribing and some templates and uh, We'll dive into that. That's going to be the third one. We're going to do the, uh, what's it called? The Concord. We'll do that after uh, Zeppelin. But anyway, that is something that can we tackle and try out all the fancy edge on it too. But anyway, that's what I've got going on today. Type 94, just about almost done. Getting, getting close to the end. And we are uh, painting and decaling the Zeppelin. Or excuse me, the Hindenburg. So that's what we got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.